Hey guys, well I'm out in the shop today and I just got finished machining a small run of small diameter parts. And this particular job required three tool changes. I had a profiling operation, a drilling operation, and then of course a parting operation. Uh, the whole machine time was about a minute 45 seconds, but with the tool changes of course that increases your time that you're going to be sitting in front of a machine. Uh, you can't really walk away because each operation is only about 30 seconds so you're just kind of stuck here. So I've been thinking about doing some sort of gain tooling setup uh, really ever since I converted the G0602 over to CNC. Uh, the problem is I just don't really have enough time and to really sort through everything. So let me just kind of tell you what my options are and maybe get some viewer feedback. Maybe you guys can identify some pros and cons that I maybe have not thought about. So most of the game tooling that I've seen for a Tormach, a Slant Pro, or a Haas CNC lathe, they have a slotted table on their cross slide or their cross slide is slotted. So here is the mill table. This is the key to making this all work without too much trouble. This little mill table I ran across probably a couple of years ago actually. It was right around when I had first picked up the G0602. I was ordering some something from Little Machine Shop and I ran across this and when I saw the dimensions, I just had to have it. I knew that it would fit perfectly on top of the G0602 cross slide. And so I went ahead and purchased it. I figured for $28, you can't beat it. As you can see, it's a pretty nice piece. If you're interested in this mill table, you can pick it up at a Little Machine Shop. I'll throw a link in the video. Now I came up with a couple of options. The first option being mount directly to the cross slide and make risers with a corresponding T-slot and then tool holders that will you can adjust along the riser to engage the part. That seems like the way that the Haas and the Slant Pro from Tormach, that seems the way they, they do the game tooling. But I thought about what if I just put a plate the same size as the slotted table here and then mount it like this. In that way, I can just make tool holders for the tooling. This seems like a simpler design because I already have the slots and I don't have to machine them in some risers. It just seems like this might be a simpler way to go. I can slide this back and then also mount my quick change tool post uh, back in the same orientation and then I'll be able to utilize my quick change tool post as well as some of the gang tooling features or a combination of both. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards but I would like to get some input from you guys and see what you think. Uh, so now let's go to Fusion 360. So this is what I came up with. Uh, there's a couple of different options. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you here is probably my least favorite. Although this is, seems to be the way that Tormach and Haas designed their game tooling. So I thought I'd take a look at it. So I have this mill table that I picked up from Little Machine Shop. We'll bolt this directly to the cross slide of the G0602. And on top of that, we will mount a riser. This is to get the tool holders up to the center line height. Uh, on top of that, and of course this can be slid around at any position and you can make a couple of these you can make some longer ones shorter ones on top of the riser 
we can put a tool holder. Now I have made a left tool holder, a right tool holder. This particular tool holder, I thought it would be a good idea to have it to where you can have it perpendicular to the stock and also parallel with the stock uh, in case you need to do some kind of, uh, just give you more flexibility with the tool holder. Also a three position gang tool holder. Um, this is a little bit different than what I saw from Tormach and Haas. I've got the tool holder fitting down in the slot here and that way it kind of locks it in position. Same thing for the tool holder. Now with this particular setup, I've, this here is a two inch piece of stock and you can see that it will clear it will clear the riser here so you will be able to turn at least the two inch diameter in between centers that's important however the benefit of having the riser is you can make it smaller or longer or reposition it so that you can get a bigger radius I think that is one of the pros to this particular setup now <clears throat> the second idea I came up with which I really like a little bit better because I don't have to machine that riser at all and that is to use mount a one inch spacer made out of aluminum on top of my cross slide then on top of that bolt down the mill table now this will still allow me to have a between center turning of two inches however it does not give you the flexibility of turning between centers anything larger in diameter than that for the most part All the gang tooling I've seen is usually small diameter pieces anyways and I know for me in particular I'm going to be using it for small diameter so it's not really going to be an issue for me. On top of the meal table we can mount our right hand tool holder. If you want to do some backside turning you can make a left hand tool holder which gives you the option of moving it to the back side of the spindle you can also have a three position gang block and inside here you can put your Tormach TTS tool holders and if you have a drill chuck and then it's locked in place with a couple of set screws for each position. I went with M6 for these set screws for all the tool holders and these will be M6 socket head screws to mount into the T-nut. Inside these holes if you want to use a 3 8 or half inch boring bar you can use a bushing uh, just like Tormach I kind of borrowed that idea from from them so you can have a couple of different bushings and then the set screws will just lock the boring bar inside the tool holder uh, this is a dual position tool holder so you can have two and if you notice these will fit in this side of the tool holder as well as the front side of the tool holder and still lock in place so you can utilize them uh, a little bit different as you can see the t-slot is offset so it gives you a little flexibility there on how to position the tool holder 
if you've got short drill bits or long drill bits or boring bars or what have you. Um, also, a single position holder. And I saw that Tormach had a heavy duty one. I guess if you're going to be doing some heavy duty work, you might want this extra bolt to secure it. So I figured what wouldn't be big, that big of a deal to make one of those. So I drew one of those up as well. So the reason I like this particular <clears throat> setup a little bit better is it's just a lot easier. You're going to make the tool holders anyways, and the spacer is just boring some holes and tapping for mounting. And you don't have to go and make the riser. So it just kind of eliminates having to cut that T-slot into a piece of steel. I think that's why this particular setup seems to be more appealing to me. So those are just a couple of ideas uh, how I could go about doing some kind of gang tooling setup on the G06 here too. Uh, please feel free to comment. Maybe someone has some ideas that I didn't think of and uh, maybe a more efficient way of doing this that might overall uh, make for a better setup. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to make suggestions, ask questions, and leave comments. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Stop by and visit the website if you're interested in plans for the G0602, Precision Matthews 727, or the X2 Mini Mill. Most importantly, be safe.